said. <clears throat> My name is Cole. Fuck you gonna do? I am that nigga that affects you. A nigga that come through and sever your crew. Parting these niggas like barbers and blades, I'm bucking, I'm eating your food. I'm losing my cool, my rebellious ways are screaming, release from this dude. Cause these niggas don't wanna see plate of my food and I walk and I talk and I kill these ladies of how I move, yeah. They look at me, see I'm lit, we walking on the moon, yeah. When I write, I write, I dip off, hot in the lungs. It's something like that first cough. And that boy ain't smoking on the earth strong, and I bomb on the beat like it's Vietnam. I'm be on the peons, y'all grieving, y'all leons, y'all vision is low, yo. I got the sniper to scope back and let off the fire, I got that dope, whoa. I've been annoyed, but I choose to avoid, but they keep on enticing the nigga, they want me to taste the nigga. Throw Round the biting the nigga. Lines cutting like it's ices, the nigga. My style bleed D Coke 45 and grab a pile of blood supported from my island. Bad bitch and tell her never actually touch I just pilot. Fuck a good, have a sea of rings, have a super sonic. I'm just being honest. Running shit like a treadmill. Have a girl fill up at that bed fill. While the ball drop hotter than anvils. Leave a nigga at a standstill. Recognize that I'm that nigga. Swag like yay, ego. If you hang it off my dick, cause you can catch this sidekick. Sweet chin, get your mind flipping. I've been waiting on so long, and I feel the shit is in arm lift. Believe it or not, I'm the flame that bubble the spot. Cooking up raw substance, killer shit in abundance. Anywhere, stage mic or function. Feast on niggas like a lunch then. Yeah, nigga, I'm punched in, getting paid up by the minute, nigga. Treat your rapper soda like dinner, nigga. I'm cool. <laughs> Raw Art TV. But a cool music. You already know what it is. Talk to us nice. Raw Art TV. What's poppin', y'all? It's your girl, Mars Mercury, here with Raw Art TV. Sitting next to a super cool cat. Shout out to all the motherfucking super cool cats. But he gonna introduce himself. <laughs> we gonna get to know him and see what he's about. Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy, Butter Cool. I'm here, man. You can follow me everywhere at Butter Cool Music. And um, I'm here to turn up everywhere and every stage. Man. Every and this is Raw yeah. RTV. You sure you know what it is, man. Yeah. Talk, Go. Talk to me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, all right. Butter Cool. Yo, what's good? How did you get the name Butter Cool? Ah, Butter. Actually, both of the names came separately. Um, Butter was more so uh, a basketball player from Brooklyn. Growing up and just trying to be smooth on the court, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I got that name from one of the OGs. I used to play in Harlem and whatnot. And, um, they used to be on the mic and stuff like that back in the days, real heavy. And um, I had did a move and I did it real, they're like real smooth. Before Jelly was Jelly Fam, I had did a real finger roll. It was like a lot of roll on it, you know what I mean? And um, the, the, rep, the, 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 the guy on the mic was like, ooh, that was like butter because I had no facial like, expression. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, mm. you know what I mean? This is what I do, you know what I mean? So, Butter came from that playing ball, and cool was when I moved to California. Um, it just, I was just cool with everybody, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I lived in a part of California where it was like dominant Mexicans, so I was cool with the Mexicans, I was cool with the gothic people, I was cool with the nerds, the, the everybody. So they was like, Butter, oh, yeah, he cool, he cool. When you walk into a party or something like that, Butter, Butter cool, Butter cool. Butter, yeah, he cool, he cool. So I was just like, you know what, let me just. But a cool, let take that up. I mean, yeah. When I started taking music seriously, I was like, you know, I'm gonna just mesh the worlds together because I used to go by Young Butter and I was like, nah, I ain't Young no more. So, right. Butter cool. It's like the evolving. I, mean. I like that. <laughs> I mean, your energy is this hella butter and this hella cool. So, I see why you would put Butter cool together, you know, make you mix it all up. Alright, so taking music seriously, how did you discover yourself as an artist? Um, probably a long time ago when, um, when I was in high school and whatnot, um, I started a, I ain't started a group, but it was a group called the Prep Stars. We was in Canarsie High School. Everybody that knew us, uh, we had our own, like, clothing line. We had our own movement when we was, like, in high school and stuff like that. Um, mm. And, uh, when I went there, uh, I just started freestyling, doing open mics and stuff like that. People used to bang on the tables. The grinding beat was, like, the, the main job. Boom, 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 boom. Know what I mean? That was, like, the main beat everybody had. You know what I mean? So I used to try to go off and, um... I made one song and I think like the whole school knew it, you know what I mean? So it was like, maybe I could do this, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe this is my lane, but I was like, nah, I'm too stuck on ball. But um, after college, I started linking up with mad people. Like, uh, my roommate was close friends with Tiger at the time. This is this is when I didn't know who Tiger was. Mm -hmm. This is when Lime and the Coconut didn't even come out. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Anybody that know Tiger, Lime and the Coconut, that's the song that made him pop. So right, right, I'm chilling yeah. around this nigga. I don't even know who he is. You know what I mean? I'm chilling around the new boys. I don't even know who these niggas are. What? So I'm just around. I'm, I'm around all these people. I'm, I'm seeing move. I'm seeing the videos of these. I'm like, yo, Mike, that's your man. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, bro. He was there the other day. I'm like. I mean, so just chilling around them and, um, I mean, lending bars here and there without me knowing. You know right, I mean, right, right. I don't know what a ghost right at that time was. I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm just happy to be around, happy to catch the vibe. And um, after that, I know my stuff started to be used and, yeah. you know what I mean, professionally. So I was like, you know what, let me just, 
Let me fuck with this. Let me fuck with this music. So I took it seriously out there in Cali, and um, when I came back from out here, when I came back to New York from school, I just started taking it full fledged. You know what I mean? Um, joined the Dean's List tour. Shout out to Scott Morris. Uh, got Yo, a, shout out to mm, Scott Morris. Yeah, man. man. He actually like when since I joined the Dean's List tour, it opened up a lot of like doors for me. You know what I mean? To get into um. That's how I got into like hosting with Pain Poetry and whatnot. Yo, answer the motherfucking question for yeah. us. Oh, I'm no, just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just because like, it opened up a lot of doors, you know what I mean? So I'm mm -hmm. just wanting to like pay homage and, and give respect to those two people, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But that's how I really got into the game, you know what I mean? It really started from the Dean's List tour, helping me uh, get my craft right as a performer and um, as a businessman, you know, behind the scenes and stuff like that, see how things work and actually putting the show together and learning how to deal with other artists with different talents and different personalities and stuff like that. You know, some people have egos. Right. Some people think they up here and you have to level them. So it's like, it was a great learning process and it helped me as a businessman and an artist overall. So, I mean, shout out to y'all, Scott and, and Mojo, you know what I mean? So. Shout out to y'all. Y'all got to come up on Raw TV too, though. I'll well, definitely tell like them, that. man. They'll be down to do it too. Yeah, I'll word. definitely tell them. So being from Brooklyn, from Hartwell, just being from New York in general, like how has... The New York scene inspires your music? Um, actually, life inspires my music, man. But as in for the scene, I wouldn't say it, it, it inspired me because it's a lot of things that I see going on. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? In the mainstream for New York, you know what I mean? It's certain artists representing, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But there's some artists that's out here that's just, I, I, maybe it's just not my type of music, not my type of tea, you know what I mean? You mean it's mumble rap? Yeah, man. Cut the thicky out. You come with that. Like, it sound like... <laughs> it sound like a nigga ordering Chinese food. <laughs> like, ah, to die, ah, to ah, to ah. That's two wings? All right, cool. I mean, I can't. Yo, I, 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 I like I like that real... I like rap that makes me... That puts me in the vibe. Don't get me wrong. I'll bump 6 9 shit in the club, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But you're not going to hear me in my car. Yeah. Driving down Summertime, though, I feel like that's what we going to hear. We going to hear and a lot the summertime, of... summertime, you might hear it, like, outside, like, if you... If you're on the block or something like that, yeah. you know, somebody got their music, they're going to play it on their, you know what I mean, Oaks Court or whatever. They want to keep the vibe up type shit. Of course they're going to play that, you know what I mean? I respect the youngin', first of all, because his grind is yeah. crazy, you know what yeah. I mean? I respect anybody with a dope-ass grind, but, you know what I mean, your music choice is your choice, you know what I mean? My choice is my choice, and that's just my opinion. But um, I like some of the artists out here now, like on the underground, like it's like a guy named Quality, um, this dude named Rome Streets, uh, um... Chris Casanova, it's a couple of dope artists that's on the underground that's mm -hmm. actually like, that's peaking right now, you know what I mean? They represent New York to the fullest, so what? shout out to them guys right there, you know what I mean? Um, True City, another dope artist, mm -hmm. um, Matt Hooks, Frank Knight. Um, Damn, you got some of these people. I know, I know, I know, I know, I mean, I know, I know, I know been, some of these guys yeah. are like my personal friends, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm a fortunate to be around them and, you know what I mean, and see their growth, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Me and Frank been on the Dean's List tour since shit when it first started type shit, you know what I mean? So it's like to see his growth and where he came from, like Bam Vito, he got rejected from the Dean's List tour and to see him to, to have a, a, his own single star right. and like a whole yeah, web series, you know what I mean? To see him do his thing now, so it's like to be around these guys is letting me know that I'm doing the right thing, <laughs> one, right. and lets me know that I'm on the right track, so. That, those are the people that inspired me, you know I mean? like my peers and stuff like that, that I actually seen that actually put the hard work in it. Didn't, didn't pay 1500 just to fucking... Do a verse or yeah, something. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? I'll like, you. shit is real. Authentic. So you've been, you've been like performing for a minute, you've been moving around, like doing, you know, just in the music scene for a minute, like, <laughs> like just doing mad stuff, like doing dope shit, just being a dope ass creative, right? So how do you balance... All of the shit that you be doing, like it shows. takes time. It takes time. Um, recently I just had uh like a crazy near death experience with uh having brain surgery and stuff like that. So I took a step back from doing shows. And prior to that, I was going to take a step back from doing shows. I was just going to focus on like just putting like singles out and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But ever since my surgery, I just been focused on like hosting and. Mm -hmm. Know what I mean? Just just little small things to get myself back up. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I just started performing back again recently. Mm -hmm. And uh, my first show back was a, a competition for South by Southwest. So, Texas, y'all gonna be seeing me. I had to <laughs> Yo, I wish I was gonna <laughs> I ended up, I ended up winning. I didn't even know it was a contest. I'm thinking this is gonna be my first show back. I just wanna see where my win at. Mm -hmm. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Cause I had did an open mic and it went horrible. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> I did an open mic, but it was like one of them randoms. You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. walk and pay ten dollars. I'm like, let me see if I got it. 
I couldn't even finish the damn song. I was like, oh shit. So <laughs> this show was had I had like 15 minutes and stuff like that. So I put on a, a dope, dope show and um mm -hmm. I ended up getting the slot to perform in South by Southwest. So mm -hmm. I figure I still got it, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, give thanks to the fact that you still here with what you been Word, through. man, like, like, like give it was thanks. it was a, it was a real big scare, you know what yeah. I mean? Like to have uh to fall out to have a seizure on a train and you know what I mean and just just I think yeah. God was I think you know what I mean God was there because when I had my seizure on the train, there was a, a nurse assistant next to me. I don't know who's sitting next to me on the train and stuff like that. I'm sitting by the window. All I know when I had whatever I was having my seizure, the lady knew what to do. Like she was just like, Oh my god, he's having a seizure. She didn't scream and go, Oh she didn't think that, you know what I mean, I was doing something crazy or mm -hmm. anything of so and there was an undercover cop there, so he stopped the train immediately and the stop that I had my seizure at was like the cow. So down the block is Brooklyn Hospital. So Wow, you see yo I mean everything could, I was like, wow. They said if I would have went over the bridge, I probably would have it probably would have been crazy for me, you know what I mean? Getting back over and stuff Happy like that. Year, <laughs> man. For real. You know what I mean? So I'm just appreciative and I know I'm here for a reason, man, to have fun, make sure everybody's right. having a good vibe and to send positive energy out there that yeah, man. So Right. And I'm sure like your perception from that experience like changed oh, tremendously. Like yeah, it's just you probably I, look at shit differently. I like, look at things they, totally yeah. different now, man. Like even people's sense of humor when they're trying to be funny. I just be looking at him like that's not funny anymore, bro. Like I don't think that's <laughs> I don't think that's funny anymore, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, that, I mean, it is. They it took is. that part out my brain. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, but it's cool. I feel you. So as a rapper, creative, you know, we collect hella notebooks. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'm sure you do. Yeah. So do you remember like your first notebook, the first rhyme you wrote, like how you know, like that experience? It was a church rap. Oh shit, nah. This is how my, my aunt, shout out to you, Aunt June. Like, she <laughs> she knew I wanted to be a rapper and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. I used to play around the house freestyle with my, my cousins and stuff. But it used to be dumb stuff. It's mm -hmm. about eating fucking fish or something, like eating food or something, eating roti or something, you know what I mean? So, um, she was like, no, you're going to write a, a rap about Jesus. And she was like, <laughs> Jesus. And it has to be Jesus. So, she sat, she sat there for a whole week. And was reading me scriptures like, yo, you need to put this in here. Peter said this to Paul. I'm like, oh, come on. So that was like, <laughs> it was like J E S U S. Jesus is a name and he is the business. I'm like, Judas first born, born with the wicked side of the Lord. I can't hardly, I, I forgot. Wow. It, was, it was like, it was something like that, but it was fun. So shout out to Aunt June. She put the battery in my back to start writing the books, man. But I had to stop writing them shits, man, because books be, you be losing them shits. Then you get all, then you bend them. And then you bend them, you got to put it yeah. in your back pocket. You know you just can't yeah. walk around with the, For a fact. like a suitcase all the time, you know what I mean? So you got to bend it, put it in your back pocket, and get all wrinkled and, I mean, so I just started using my phone. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> but even then, the phones, that be messing up too sometimes. So. Yeah, yeah, hella shit be messing up. So your song, Drift Away. Mm -hmm. I just want to drift away. Yeah. So tell me, like, what inspired that? And how do you drift away when shit get, like, overwhelming? You got to sit back, get into a, a nice corner or wherever you feel at peace and just meditate mm -hmm. breathe meditate and just try to think things through you know what i mean see the good in everything you know what i mean if bad. you see the bad in things try to weed the bad out and see if the good can over overpower the bad you know what i mean um, and drift away uh shout out to my man shiz uh he created the beat dj shiz i was in the studio with the artist named glam she's um basically I guess she was managed by one of the Sway in the Morning. Mm -hmm. he, she was uh, basically, he was managing her. Mm -hmm. He was in a studio, he was cooking up something, making, like, making some hooks and stuff like that. And uh, I just started zoning out and I was having a bad day, you know what I mean? It was one of those, I think it was prior to me having like a seizure and stuff like that, because mm -hmm. I used to have a lot of headaches and it was just a bother me. I never knew why, I never mm -hmm. wanted to go get it checked out. But right. um, it was one of those days I was having a real bad headache and I was like, I just want to fucking drift away and get away. I just want to get away. <laughs> I just want to get away. And, um, you know what I mean? This, she just started, like, harmonizing over the beat while she was there. And I was just like, sometimes I feel like I drift off into the You know what I mean? I just started going off. And mm -hmm. I ain't even, I don't even, I think I probably only wrote, like, two lines in that whole verse. You know what I mean? Just because I was just, fire. it was just straight off the top. And it just, it just, it was just in my heart. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? So. And Glam, she blessed the track. Know what I mean, I didn't even know she yeah, was going to get on me. Know what I mean, I didn't even know. When I heard her verse, I was just like, oh, shit. Like, All right, cool. I, I mean, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, I put, add that on my resume. Know what I mean, but, 
<laughs> you know I mean, as long as, long as a, a dope track come out of the um, is is the end result. You know I mean, that's all. Mm -hmm. I mean. So that's a dope track. I love that. Yeah. That's dope. That's we also track. got a song, Love You. We talking real spicy in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, love you, right? Yeah. So how do you set the tone when you're trying to love somebody? Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Got, like, like, you, gotta, you gotta kiss a little bit. Oh, kiss a little bit. You gotta touch that. Um, <laughs> uh, to set the mood, it depends on the female, mm -hmm. man. Whatever she likes, whatever she's into. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, if she's into, like, Whatever, it could be incense, it could be a certain smell that could turn a girl on. You know mm -hmm. what I mean, I know a candle that can turn one female on. You know what I mean, it, not now. I know her, I knew her. You know what I mean, I, I knew her. I knew her. Not now, That's I knew there. her. You know what I mean? But, um, <laughs> you know what I mean, depends. It depends on the vibe. You know what I mean, whatever she likes to do. It could be either like some girls like to smoke and just chill, relax. Mm -hmm. Some people like to, like to eat, watch a movie, or some people like to go out. You know what I mean, so it depends on how. And plus also how much you feel for this person and how much you want to put effort into mm -hmm. making that person feel like she's the only one. You know what I mean? Right. So, For a fact. <laughs> so, give me your top three favorite rappers that are alive. Oh, Damn, I don't want to sound so damn cliche. Um, what are you about to say? I was going to say whole big and, um, and Nas, but... I mean, that's the, that's, that's the top, but... I'm going to try to switch it up. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to go with... Ludacris. Oh, that's different. Busta Rhymes. Okay, I, I see. I see where you going. And hope I got this. Hope I got this. I mean, I'm sorry. Hope is not just like, just hope I got it. So yeah, Ludacris, Busta Rhymes, and Hope. So is there anybody in the industry that you would want to collab with? Oh shit. I mean, I'm sure it's like some of those people you just named. But... Uh, Demi Lovato. Oh I'm yo. thinking. I'm thinking crazy because. I'm thinking hits. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but Demi Lovato, her voice is just <laughs> like I just love it. Um, who else? I think me in the weekend to make some fire. Fire shit. I think me in the weekend would we'll make some fire. Or so, do you have any projects you're working on? Any yes. any events coming up? <clears throat> yes, I have actually a show on um, the 17th when I come back from South by Southwest in uh, Staten Island. Uh, shout out to the commission. That's my first time performing in Staten Island, so I officially hit all five boroughs. I'm hype. Now I can actually say, yeah, I hit every yeah. stage in all five boroughs. So, um, now I mean, shout out to that's on my Instagram. You can find the information there. Uh, Payton Poetry, we had a finale last night. It was dope. Yeah, if you guys I missed it, um, yo, it was a dope spot. The spot was dope. Uh, the Secret Loft Robot. Some, all I know is awesome. That, that's a beautiful space. Shout out to them. Um, Shout to Mojo Disco. Uh, artists on the Rise, if you're looking for artists uh, that's going to be performing, um, I'm working with a company. I'm just hosting shows. They're looking for artists. It's called Artists on the Rise. If you guys are interested, uh, go at Artists on the Rise underscore. You can check that out. Hit them up. Um, they had Fred the God, Sun K. Sean, JoJo Simmons, I am uh, uh, DJ Ill Will. They had a lot of stars that come through, a lot of publications that come through. Mm -hmm. You need to come through. You can do live interviews and stuff like that. So uh, we'll make, right. that we yeah, make that happen. We we'll need definitely make that happen. We're going to talk about that. Um, uh, what other interests I got? Uh, a project, uh, Cool State of Mind. It's gonna be a seven track project. Uh, it's just gonna be basically I'm just putting y'all in the vibe, man. Um, and I know a lot of people didn't hear anything from me in a while, and um, I know a lot of people waiting for me since my 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 process and my injury and whatnot. So um, I'm coming back and getting stronger than ever. Since your rebirth, that's my what rebirth. Was. Yeah, well, I think, I'm gonna use that word. I'm gonna use that word. I like that. Since my rebirth, so um, I just can't wait for y'all to check it out. Um, it's gonna be a lot of dope things on there. And just stay tuned to the page, man. Cool Corner's gonna be coming back. Uh, gonna be interviewing artists also. I can interview her. Get this popping. Oh my you know god, I mean? that would be um, so weird. I don't think I'm. No, no, no. Well, you a star your own life. Right? You better recognize, girl. It's Raw RTV. You ain't know. Hey. You ain't know. Like, come on now. You know, it's just great, man. We got a lot of great things popping. So all you gotta do is just check my page. And um, if y'all guys wanna link, connect, go out. If you got an event, hit me up. Shout out to Raccoon. He got an event coming up. His Orange Live too. Y'all need to go get tickets for that. It's a dope ass lineup. Shout out to him. And um. Yeah, you know mad people like nah, we gotta, man, I'm, I'm, we gotta, I'm like Uncle Cool. That's my I'm, nah, I'm start going I mean, by you've that. Been, you've I'm been Uncle doing Cool. Now I'm about to be Uncle Cool, you know what I mean? So like I got a young I'm I'm, I'm young but we got that uh, old soul, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So let's get it um but a cool raw TV, man. I'm happy to be here.
Sometimes I feel a drift off into distant lands where the cell phones can't reach them. No calls from my shouties, not accepting calls from my peoples. I just want to clear my mind, sit and confine where a nigga need to. Keep a higher elevator where I'm strong enough to take all my people. Different time zones, switching weather, hit the climate, fucked up, we gon' switch states. Sally May is still hacking shit, so I guess a nigga just won't slight the layers, so too shit.